What's up guys, thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. This week in Homebrew Switch Edition is going to show off a new homebrew app, a Switch Hacks Guide by PlayElect, concept art for the homebrew launcher UI, as well as a new Switch emulator that is putting Yuzu to shame. Interested? Keep watching. First up, we're over on switch.hacks.guide. Now this is a guide much like the 3ds.guide and the Wii U guide created by PlayElect, and it is basically going to be the go-to for hacking your Switch. Currently, there isn't a ton of information on here, but you can go ahead and read over the state of homebrew currently. And at the bottom of the page, you can go down to get started and go ahead and get started. Now on the second page, there's even more stuff that you're gonna wanna read. But down here you can see, depending on what version you are on, there is different things that you can do. Basically, if you're on 1.0.0, then you're going to be the most likely to get custom firmware before anybody else. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and block your updates. Now, if you're on 2.0.0 to 2.3.0, I guess you could potentially use the game cart to update to 3.0 and then use the homebrew launcher. If you happen to be higher than that, then again, you're going to want to block updates and wait for hacks to be released in the future. Shout out to PlayElect for always being on top of the guide game. Up next, we're over on Ryujink's webpage. Now, this is the Switch emulator that I was speaking about earlier. Now, as you can see, it is a Nintendo Switch emulator programmed in C Sharp, unlike most emulators that are created with C++ or C. This emulator aims to offer good performance, a friendly interface, and consistent builds. Ryujinx is created by GDK Chan over on the GBA Temps forum. The emulator cannot currently run any commercial Nintendo Switch games, but I heard it does boot to the home screen of Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's not ready to play Mario Odyssey yet, but let me show you guys what it can do. Over here on Simply Austin's YouTube page, go give him a subscribe and a thumbs up. Basically, he has a video where he is trying out Ryujinx on his PC using different Switch homebrew. Now, right here, you can see this is Retro Arc playing the Picto Core Drive. Now, I believe that that is Sega Master System or Sega Game Gear. If I head over to my next tab, you can see here's Sonic 3 playing, and I'll just let him talk for a minute about it. Uh, now, I'm getting 60 frames per second. This is awesome news. All right, can I control this? Let's get in there. Whoa, I wasn't expecting this kind of performance. I'm going to zoom in a bit on the screen so we get rid of it, but this is me in windowed mode as you just seen a second ago. Controls are working. This is crazy. I was not expecting this. So as you can see, RetroArc is playing absolutely perfectly on this Switch emulator. If I head over to my next tab, you can see he's also got Pokemon Crystal going, absolutely running at 60 frames per second, perfectly fine. Up next, I'm going to show him playing Space Game, which I showed the other week on Yuzu. And as you can see, it is running 60 frames per second, whereas on Yuzu, it had maybe 10 frames at max. Up next, we're over on GBA Temp, and this is a release thread for 8-Bit Wonders homebrew program known as Pixel Painter. Now, this is a simple drawing homebrew without a ton of features at the moment, but I'll just go ahead and show off a couple of the screenshots. So, as you can see here, the L pad and the L stick is the cursor controller, L and R cycles the colors up and down, A button toggles drawing, erasing, and the minus clears the drawing area. Y toggles the fast cursor, and plus exits to the homebrew menu. While it's not the most revolutionary homebrew app in the entire world, it's just awesome to see stuff coming out on the Switch homebrew so early. Speaking of the Switch homebrew, here is a pixel painter icon within the homebrew launcher. And while we're on the topic of that, there is a couple of concept arts for the homebrew launcher. This one is mimicking the actual UI of the Switch itself, and it actually looks pretty darn awesome as you can see here. Shout out to X43, X61, X69 for that. And again, these are by A-Dubs. This is a couple of different versions of the homebrew menu, and this might be how it could look in the very near future. Well, guys, I know there wasn't an absolute ton of Switch news this week, but I hope you got your fill. I want you guys to click that thumbs up so that I get inspired to make more videos like this, as well as subscribe to get caught up on all the latest news. There will be a This Week in Homebrew 3DS edition. Do not worry. It's actually going to come out this week. Much love. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.